A lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Alpha. My name is Julianne Marston Carrick and our topic for today is the Persian Messiah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that once more you have given us an opportunity to go through your words. We just ask now in a special way that you be with us so that as the message goes forward, persons will be closer drawn to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, our scripture passage of focus today is Isaiah 44, 26 to 45, as well as Isaiah 6. So, the question for this lesson is, what are the surprising messages about the future that is predicted in these verses? And we are going to take a look at what happens in these verses. Isaiah worked for God from 745 BC to about 685 BC. And one of the special messages God gave Isaiah was about a Persian king. Firstly, Isaiah says that a mighty king, a mighty leader, will come from the east and from the north. And you can find this in Isaiah 41, 2 to 3, and verse 25. Next, Isaiah shows that this is good news for Jerusalem. And you can find this in Isaiah 41, verse 27. Then he says, the name of the Persian king is Cyrus. He told us many different things about Cyrus, and he was very correct in everything that he said. And this shows that the message about Cyrus happened to be 150 years ahead of his time. So there are many history writers who show that the special message about Cyrus is true. Babylonian records from Cyrus's time also give proof that the information about him is true. And there are several passages that you would be able to get this information from. And you can find these in 2 Chronicles 36, 22 to 23, Ezra 1, Daniel 5, Daniel 6, 28, and Daniel 10, verse 1. We cannot doubt, therefore, that God gave Isaiah this special message. And this message helps to make our faith strong. The message also shows that God knows the future before it happens. So as the story goes on, we may want to find out why is it that God named Cyrus his chosen king? And you can find this in Isaiah 45 verse one. So the Hebrew word chosen is the same word we get Messiah or Savior from. And Cyrus, of course, is a future king. He is sent by God to make the people free. But the question is, is Cyrus a special, a special Messiah or Savior? We are now going to be looking at the answers to this question. Number one. He is not a Jew. Number two, he will do some things that the Savior will do. Number three, Cyrus will be the enemies of God. Number four, he will make the people of God in Babylon free again. Number five, but Cyrus is not the same as the coming Savior. And finally, Cyrus does not come from the line of David. So the special message about Cyrus shows that only God knows the future. And you can look in these verses, Isaiah 41 verse 4, 21 to 23, and 26 to 28. You can also look in Isaiah 44 verse 26. Now God invites Cyrus to know him personally because God knows the name of Cyrus even before he was born. And you can find this as well in Isaiah 45, verse 3. So what is really the essence 
of the story that we have looked at today. And it is showing us that God is the only one who knows the future. He invites Cyrus to know him personally. And in the same way that he invited Cyrus to know him personally, is the same message that is there for us today. God and God alone knows our names even before we are born. And that, my friends, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you once more for your words. We thank you that you indeed are the great Messiah and that you know us even before we were born. So help us, Father, to acknowledge you for who you are and to worship you in the beauty of holiness. Continue to bless and keep us all as we continue to study your words. In your wonderful name I pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Alpha. We look forward to presenting another episode tomorrow. God bless you. A lesson for all daily at 6 a.m.